It's dark outside, but it's light in here. Chanukah, Chanukah is here. Shalom Aleichem, it's a privilege and a pleasure once again to be sharing Torah with the greater Shalom community. If we look at the al there are five phrases used to describe our victory over the Greeks in battle. Mosato giborim biad chalashim, the strong were handed over to the weak. Rabim biad ma'atim, the many into the hands of the few. Tmeim biad tahorim, the pure, impure into the hands of the pure. Risham biad tzadikim, the evil into the hands of the righteous. Vizeidim biad oske sarasecha, and the sinners into the hands of the learners of the Torah. And what's interesting and noteworthy is that really only the first two phrases describe the victory in the battlefield. The strong into the hands of the weak, the many into the hands of the few. What's the significance of including the last three phrases, speaking about the Timeim biat tahorim, Risham biat tzadikim, Vizedim biat oske sarasecha, in no way does that describe a miraculous battleground victory. So the Babat Rebbe explains that there were actually parallel wars going on. There was an external war against the Greeks, against the legions, against the, the, uh, the oppressors. But at the same time, there was an internal battle going on within Am Yisrael. Because as we know, there were many Jews, there were some Jews who were misyavnim, who embraced Greek culture. And there was an internal battle going on as well. And so a battle against those who are outside, our oppressors, it's very clear. It's black and white. We know what's right, we know what's wrong. We know who our enemy is, and we can try as hard as we can to fight against that enemy. And we daven for Hashem to help us. But the internal enemy, that almost that enemy from within, those people and those sentiments, that culture that is attacking our spirituality, the lines are much more blurred, much more complicated. So it's important for us to note within the miracle of the Hanukkah battle, not only the physical battle against the Greeks, but the internal battle inside the communal battle, and perhaps even the battle within us as individuals. And I think that message of this duality of battles that we engage in over the course of our lives is something that we take with us for our entire life and for all of Jewish history. There will always be those who are outside of us, external to us, who are trying to destroy us. But at the same time, we have to be very aware of the conflicts and the battle within. We have to be aware and able to identify our red lines, knowing what is too far from a hashkafic, from a philosophical perspective, and staying strong and staying committed to our concrete beliefs. And I'm sure if we do that, if we keep that in mind, we'll be blessed not only with the wonderful Hanukkah, not only with success in life, both physical and spiritual, but really a embracing the light of the Torah and the light of Hanukkah to an extent that will not only affect us now, but for many days, weeks, months, and years to come. I'm wishing you all a Hanukkah Sameach, a Lichter Hanukkah. Thank you very much. Hanukkah.